and nine away from AT&T and Fred Lewis climbs in and Billingsley's first pitch is promptly pushed over the head of a leaping for call and out into left center for a base hit. So Lewis didn't hit it hard but by the Marlins and came up to the big leagues to stay in 1996. He rolls one down to Hudson. He will tag Lewis and make the double play for his first walk. Now the 1 1 pitch on the way. Wynn usually gives the Dodgers a bad time, whacks it to center, but Matt Kemp is there to stab it. Selected by Oakland and came up to the A's in 2000. For Paul, hits a drive into the gap in left center field. And against the wall, it goes wrong. Can't make the play. Lewis gets it back in and a long double for Raphael for Paul to open. So one and two the count. Zito at the bell. Barry comes back. It is swung on and missed. The pitch win. Here's the one two pitch coming up. Zito delivers, swung on and missed. Though he much lower. Two one pitch coming up. And that swung on slice to right down the line. Coming over to make a wonderful one hand catch is Randy Wynn. Now the one two pitch on the way. Sandoval hacks at it and hits it back to the box. That had to be out of the strike zone. I mean, the side in order. He is one out here in the second. No score. 3 1 pitch is swung on and popped up. It'll be Orlando Hudson waiting, puts it away. And the Aaron six briefly went back down again and then came up last year for 30 games. Swings and misses. Down he goes. Because of a great catch by his brother Joe DiMaggio. The 2 2 pitch is whacked into right field. A base hit for Russell Martin. So Mark point three. And the opposition is hitting 186. Next pitch grounded to third. Waiting for the hop is Uribe. They get one and they turn it to first. One hand. Well, whoever's hand that was is holding three. The lake is hitting a long fly ball to Santa Rowan goes back, stops on the track, and makes the catch for the out. Uribe was talking about when the White Sox wanted to sign him. He said, drive to right. Ethier is there, and he has to reach up to get it. One ball and one strike. Emmanuel grounds one up the middle. There you go. He's hot again. So a one out single by what the Giants do if they score first. Strike one pitch. Zito gets the bunt down. Billingsley gets it over to first base to Loretta. Outfield shaded to left. And the 2 0 pitch on the way. Fred grounds it to short. Up with it is for call. For $126 million. 1 2 pitch is in there on a check swing, and down goes Billingsley. And the next pitch gets him, and so Pierre blow hitters away. Zito does not do that. There goes Pierre, off speed comeback of the throw to second, safe throw to first in time. The Zito, Zito ready, the full count pitch to Orlando Hudson, and that's taken ball four and a check swing. Of the late Dom DiMaggio, who had a 34 game hitting streak. Rendoria takes ball four. He had a 23 game hitting. Oriole outfielder Don Buford. Ground ball. There's Loretta on the bag, but that's all. So outfielder Don Buford. Ground ball. There's Loretta on the bag, but that's all. He's had at least one man on base against him in every inning, but he's scoreless. Hard ground ball. Great stop by Loretta to take an extra base hit away from Pablo Sandoval. And on the out, Renteria goes to third. Boy, that kid can really swing the bat. So Loretta saves the Giants from scoring first. And remember what we talked about. The Giants are the only. Renteria at third, two out. Almost a wild pitch. Nice save. So Rowan goes to first. Renteria, light breeze blowing out towards right field. And another save, and it hit him. So hit by the pitch, Ishii hitter. The year before, he hit 21. 
Runners go and the oh, she prayed for their welfare as well. Curve ball and he whacks it into left field. The refield who struck out in the first inning straightens out from scoring and Wynn made the running catch that prevented for call from scoring. That's hit to Rowan and back. Two balls and two strikes. And that's lifted into straightaway center. Rowan coming in a hurry and makes the catch and he had a problem because going out there was Renneria. So Renneria kind of strayed a little too far apologizing with body language to Rowan. I mean Aaron was coming and Renteria was going and then at the last minute it can two strikes. And that's lifted into straightaway center. Rowan coming in a hurry and makes the catch and he had a problem because going out there right now. And that's popped up. Ishikawa is calling and now backs away as the second. So down goes Bill and Pierre was nailed at third for the final out. Not much of a swing for Barry. Down he goes. That's pretty short. And probably rips it up the middle. So he's two for three. Might be something that sticks out. Two and two. And a fly ball to right field. Win is there. One out, fifth inning, no score. And that's a shot coming up in a hurry is win, but he has to play it on a bounce. So Billingsley, a little fly hold any runners. They always have the first baseman up just like Ishikawa. Shot right through the legs and into center field. Stopping at second is Billingsley. So Pierre, 62. Fast ball got him. Rafi. And ball four. And popped in the air foul. Coming down is Uribe coming over is Sam Duval who made the inning. And Billingsley now perking to Edgar Renteria. Ground ball of the hole for call. Nice pick. Throw way high. Loretta hoping that Renteria would turn, but he never did. He went straight down. He shut them down with runners in scoring position. And that's a line drive base hit. So Renteria goes to second, two. And a drive to center. Kemp going back. He has a play. Tagging up is Renteria. Kemp. Going after Renteria, perfect one hopper, but Edgar moved over. So a one and one. There they go, the runner and a hit and run fly ball to right. Coming over is Ethier and can't hold on to it or did he? Yes, he did. And they throw the first knot in time. We were waiting for Dan Ayasonia to go down calling fair or foul, and when he indicated out. That meant the run came in to score. And so there it is on this foul ball. Nice catch by Eve here, but he gets tied up and tag. And he shook out. And he has become a really good hitter late in the game. Ground ball to the left. Renneria, a nice stop. And throws in the dirt. And a nice pick too late. So Matt Kemp. Beats Renderia's throw. Edgar played short like he's on a turntable. But all of that you can't do and expect to get Kemp the throw. Kemp is going. And ground ball into left field. So Matt just keeps on going. The throw to third. Not in time. That let Martin go to second and he is out. So it goes from the left field of Fred Lewis to the third Billingsley reached in the fifth inning. 
curveball and a dandy. So Loretta strikes out on pump. And a drive into the gap. Racing over, diving, unable to make the catch as Lewis. Rowan picks it up. The tying run scores on a double by Casey Blake, and it's a 1 1 tie. So the Giants challenge Casey Blake with Chad Billingsley on deck and two out. And they paid for it. And we have a 1 1 tie. I'm sure James McDonald throwing in the bullpen was nothing more than a. Big bouncer to Uribe. And that'll be that. One and two the count to Juan Uribe. And a hopper into center. So Uribe opens up with a single. Burris is one for nine against Billingsley. Hits a little ground ball for a call. The great circle route throws and pulls Loretta off the bag. Kelly. Got the bunt down, and it's a beauty. Just in time, and boy, what a tough play for Orlando Hudson for two. So the bases are loaded. And a high fly ball into left center. The runners tagging with his big camp on the run. And tagging up easily is Uribe. Over to third goes Burris. And the Giants take a two to one lead on Renteria's long fly ball. And so Barry Zito is now out in front. And ball four. So now it's nine runs batted in. He does not have a grand slam. And a little roller to the hole. Back goes for call. Has no play anywhere, really. The run scores, and the Giants lead three to one. For call thought he was going towards a play, but Lewis had moved along. He didn't have a play at all on Burris coming down from third, and by the time he threw to first, it was a base hit. No play there, no play there, and no play there. And a fly ball to left. Pierre moves over. Had trouble, I think, with the lights and made the play. And he walks Pierre to open up the seventh inning. Big bouncer to third. Uribe down to second. Back to first. Double play. And good fastball that seemed to sink at the last minute. And that's that pitch with the sink to it, hard slider. And for Ishikawa, slow hopper, here comes for call, short hops and can't come up with it. Boy, he's had a lot of tough chances tonight. Just did. Burris had one, and so did Uribe. Little pop fly, a trio of Dodgers, it'll be Kim. And a hopper to the right side. They'll get the force, and that's that. The no. Little ground ball, you rebate. Good pick. High throw, but a toe dance by Ishikawa. And one away. Got him. Boy, he's throwing hard. So, and ball four. So with two out, Martin draws the walk. Loretta coming up. Wow. So he walks two and he's not close. And it's ball four. No. Strike three. But Casey on his way to first. And it rung up. Fly ball to left field. Pierre goes back a bit. So one out, ninth inning. And the batter, Edgar Renteria. Pass ball. And that's hit into right field for a base hit. So Renneria able to catch up to a 92 mile an hour fastball, and the batter will be Randy Wynn. So Renneria. Randy. 
The win foul tips it. Can't believe that it was caught. But he strikes out to the right of second baseman Burris, and it goes under his glove. Wow. All of the hole to play the throw to second in time. So a nice play by Renteria to turn. Ground ball to short. They get one. They get two.